What is up, YouTube? This is PZZS in here. First of all, happy December 1st. Hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your families. My Thanksgiving break is over. I'm going to be going to school in about half an hour. So, not incredibly thrilled about that, but whatever. It's part of life. And plus, the semester is actually rapidly coming to a close, so then I'll have an even longer break for Christmas, and that is very exciting. And since it's the start of the month, and since I actually got this idea earlier today, I decided that I would begin a mini-series, if you will. Uh, this is going to be the official start of my coded Zippo EDC testing. I know I said last year that I wanted to do this, where I would take one of these uh, coded Zippos and then carry it around and see how it can withstand to abuse, not really abuse, but just standard carrying and whatnot. And that is what I'm going to do here. This is the Candy Apple Red Zippo. I'm going to be doing it with this one. So basically, what I'm going to do, this is my normal everyday carry, all right? This is my Zippo Brass Armor, Armor Brass Zippo. And I love this thing quite a lot. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting this thing aside, okay? It's just going to be sitting around. And I'm going to turn this into my exclusive everyday carry for at least, at least maybe until February or March, I'm not really sure, but it's going to be a, a mul several months, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to carry it around with me, as if it was this one, it's just going to turn into my everyday user for about three or so months, we'll see. Uh, and what I'm going to do is that when I decide that it's been long enough, I'm actually going to order another one of these, I'm going to order a brand new one, and then I'm going to compare a brand new Candy Apple Red to one that's been heavily used. So that is what I'm thinking about doing. So yeah, basically, this Zippo is going to go away, at least for the time being, and this is my new everyday user. Went ahead and put a flint in it, and I filled it. First light, actually. First time lighting it right there. Just so y'all know, I'm not going to be, like, intentionally abusing this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to carry it around like I've been carrying around this one. And uh, when I carry a Zippo, I'm really careless. Like, it's gonna, it's definitely going to come in contact with metal. It could potentially come in contact with change. Uh, so the metal could be sharp. It might not be sharp. Who knows? But, yeah, it's going to rub against metal. But that's what this one does. This one rubs against metal all the time as well. So there you go. That's just the conditions in my pocket. So I'm not going to actually intentionally like drop this or skid it across pavement or anything. It's just going to be in my pocket and I'll play with it. Uh, oftentimes what I'll do is I'll have a Zippo lit and I'll use it to heat up that chimney a little bit which will in turn heat up the body and then when I close it the lid gets hot and then it's like a I let it cool down a little bit, but then it's like a nice hand warmer. I want to know how well this, um, I mean, I do that with this one, but I'm going to do that with this one especially because I want to know how heat resistant this coating is. I want to know if it will start to melt away under extreme heat. That's something that I've been wondering for a little while now. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Just a really quick update video. Uh, went ahead and filled it and put a flint in it, and I also bent out the, uh, the insert a little bit because it was a little bit loose, and I like to have tight inserts. So there you go. That's my new user. So guys, thank you for watching and adios. Alright, I, d I also decided it might be a good idea to go ahead and give you a quick close-up of what it looks like right now. Um, it's really in decent condition on this side. If you look on the other side, there are a couple like uh, hairline scratches on it. There's I don't know if how well the camera's picking it up, but you can kind of see there's one right there. There's another one right there. You can kind of see see that. So, I mean, the, the coating, it does have a few little tiny scratches on there. And that's basically it. Uh, there's a few on the lid. So, yeah, it's already been a little bit beaten up. I'm not really sure why or how. I don't know if that's when it was brand new or if maybe I set it down on a rough surface at any t point in time. But, yeah, everything else about it is in decent condition. There's the date it was made. So, yeah. I got this thing about two years ago, so it's about two years old already, but it's still in brand new condition. So, yeah, there you go. And like I say, I will be ordering a new one of these. Again, probably around March to April, just so that we can compare the two and see what a brand new one looks like to a used one. I would use one of the uh, other colors that I have, but I figured it would probably be better just to keep it true to the 
to the actual theme here and keep it keep it with the candy apple red, I guess. So, anyway, yeah, there you go. It's a real quick uh, update about that. Here are the sides. Uh, nothing really. There's actually a little dimple right there, but I think that would be a manufacturing defect, a slight one, nothing major, because I never noticed it anyway. And again, that might there's a little tiny little something right there. That again could be manufacturing, could be me. Not really sure. But yeah, this thing has yet to in even enter my pocket. In fact, I'm wearing sweatpants. It has yet to even enter my sweatpants pocket. So, there you go. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for school. And this is going to take come along with me. And uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. And adios. And just as a little bit of a bonus, here it is under some real harsh sunlight. Uh... Yeah, you can, you, you may be able to pick up those scratches now. It's a little dusty, that's certainly showing up. Yeah. Some of these scratches are actually underneath it, but there are indeed some that are above. Are, uh, that are actually on the candy apple red surface. So yeah. Awesome. It's actually the end of the day and I wanted to show you what it looks like after one day of use. Um, so yeah, the things I had in my pocket with this thing by the way, I had a plastic wallet, a metal business card holder, some quarters that I spent pretty quickly. Um, was that it? Oh, and my headphones, uh, my ear pods in their plastic case. So, yeah, this thing on this side is actually looking pretty good. Uh, this is the uh, the back side technically because the hinge is on the is on the right. But if you look on the if you look on the front, you can see we've already got some major uh, scratches going on. So that was that's actually really interesting. I wasn't expecting it to show wear like this on day one. So. There's a thing for you to keep in mind. Um, yeah, it might just again. It, it, I'm, I'm. You may be a little bit more careful with your lighters when they're in your pocket. Me, I'm just carrying it the way I carry all my EDC Zippos. And uh, yeah, this is what's coming out of it. We just got some lovely little scratches there. Those are scratches. If I try to like <sighs> wipe it off, <clears throat> like on my shirt after breathing on it, uh, they're still there. So. Yeah, just a quick little update. Um, haven't even exported the video yet. Haven't even started editing the video yet. So, there you go. But yeah, there you go. Pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it. So, for real now, thanks for watching, and adios.